It's dirty ice, it's full of blood, but it's also full of gold. Hey guys, this is my review for I, Tanya, the biopic about the figure skater Tanya Harding, who had the extremely very shady story with her friend who had her knee smashed and a giant controversy was created around her. And this is basically telling her side of the story, just her life with her mother, her husband, her competition means, how she dealt with committees of skating communities as well as just how she dealt with her own life and I'll say this this is one of my favorite biopics I've seen in a long time the means and how this movie is put together with the amount of content and how it's edited really reminds me of oddly enough Martin Scorsese crime dramas I don't know why but I think it was more so just the very realistic dialogue the realistic characters the humor mixed in with the dark and very gritty material really brought me back to crime dramas such as Goodfellas or Casino and the whole time I was just really into it. The editing in this movie is phenomenal, the pacing is fantastic, and just how stuff is filmed. The film has this kind of grain on top of it that makes it look like it is somewhat set in the time. They do a lot of letterboxing for the interviews, but for instance when she's on the ice, it has this grain that makes it look like it was a movie made in, in the 90s, but it just so happens to be high definition. There's a lot of freestyle camera used in this, uh, there's not that many static shots, there's a lot of in your face following through the movements. It really embeds you in these characters' lives, and I'll have to say, I thought Margot Robbie was fantastic. This is probably her best performance she's ever done. Her take on Tanya Harding is amazing. We see a woman who is playing against the norm. She is a tomboy who was born into poverty, had a very abusive mother, several in and out fathers, and was constantly pushed, had negativity thrown at her her entire life, and all she wanted to do was just be the best to succeed, and to a sense, please her mother. Allison Janney plays Tanya Harding's mother, and she is fantastic. She is so brutal, so vicious, so cunningly mean, but deceptively pushing to her daughter that every time she's on the screen, you're both laughing as well as thinking, holy shit, what a bitch. Allison Janney is one of the best parts of this movie by far. Her character doesn't give any shits. She is constantly pushing her daughter. She is a negative reinforcement. Not at all a good raising environment for a child, but still, she is one of the reasons why Tanya pushes so hard to go in the direction of skating. And probably one of the things that I found the most interesting was just how the story played out. As we are told at the beginning of the movie, this is interviews from both Tanya and her husband, as well as her mother. And what I found out was that the story that I had always been led to believe about what happened to Tanya Harding isn't the story at all, at least from what this film portrays. The film isn't just telling a story about what happened, but it's also talking about just how people view her and what happened with the media and how they portrayed Tanya Harding throughout this entire event. She definitely was given the shaft and more so put in the spotlight as a controversy figure than actually her skill. Something that I found was very interesting is that she was a fantastic skater, but it was because of her demeanor, her poor living style, her constantly chaotic and tomboyish attitude that she wasn't given as high as marks because it was about her look, not just her skating skill. I like this aspect. It really gives you a humane and almost a compassionate view for a person who was shrouded in such controversy and it really makes you consider whether your thoughts about her were wrong and I like this character, I like this person, I like that she goes through all of this garbage, this shit to try and prove to the world who she is and just when she gets that glimmer of hope, that glimmer of love, it's taken away from her from actions that were almost within her bounds of stopping, but really out of her control. Sebastian Stan, as her husband, is pretty good. He's a really interesting, very shitty character. That's the funny thing, too, about this movie, is just the amount of events that happen that were caused by absolute imbeciles. The story is just so outrageous that you can't 
help but think it's true. It's similar to the disaster artist. The disaster artist isn't a comedy. The disaster artist is a biopic. It just so happens to be about an incredibly ridiculously funny story. The same thing is with I, Tonya. We get a look into just how shitty her life was, but we find humor in it as well as heartbreaking loss. The thing that I also loved about this movie was every time she's on the ice, you just feel this fear, this anxiety of what's gonna happen. Even if you know, like for instance, when she lands triple axle, even though they lead up to the fact that she's going to do it, you actually feel anxiety for her and want her to succeed. And that's a great thing. And that's probably one of the best parts about this movie is that it takes a character who's shrouded in such controversy and such dark imagery, dark stories, and you care about them. The performances by everyone in this movie is fantastic. The way it's shot is genuine. It really pulls you into the time as well as just into the character's emotions and their moments captured. The pacing is fantastic. Everything about this movie is pretty much dead on. I almost have no complaints. There's probably one little bit near the final 20 minutes where it just slows down a little bit, but otherwise, this is one of the best movies of the year by far. So it's my pleasure to announce this so early on in the year, but I'm gonna give I, Tonya a seven out of seven. This is a must-see movie. It is great, it is fantastic, it is funny, it is dramatic, it is emotionally gripping, and best of all, it tells you a side of a story that admittedly, is much more interesting than what you were led to believe. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this review. If you liked what you saw, leave a like, and if you want, maybe even subscribe. Anyways, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.